All right, so it is almost back to school time, which, you know, it's okay. Yeah. I know it's coming on quick, but you have a way for us to kind of feel better about it, whether you're working from your home office or you're back to school or in a dorm room. It is very important that we have pets friendly and safe plants. Absolutely. So now we're looking at some tropicals or house plants that are beautifully pet friendly. And the awesome part with most of these is the cats can chew them down to the nose and the plants will still be okay. And if you, I was going to say, if you're a, if you're a cat parent, like you know, that's not something you want to have to worry about. No, not at all. Not at all. So when we think about some of these, absolutely, there's a whole shelf of ferns in here. And yes, even that one's a fern, totally different leaf. But ferns love low light, and they love a little bit of extra moisture, which is okay. We've got some lipstick plants. We've got some little guys, and these really will. <laughs> I know, aren't they cool? So cool, and the texture of these is incredible. Is, yeah, it's, it's so unique. As we run down the aisle, yep, chop chop. <laughs> uh, we've got some different pileas and peperomias. I love the shine on the leaf on this one. Super cool. A little, a little, just a little spice, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you get into really cool textures. I look at the texture on that one. Yeah. And if we head around the Turn corner, around. yeah. Spider plants, always, always important in the pet friendly library. Mm -hmm. Totally. Uh, because these will go from no light to lots. Okay. Right, so lots of opportunity. Um, if you've got friends, all of us need friends. And this one has an extra friend. That friend doesn't want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. We've got some money plants or a pilea. This is also called a friendship plant. So as this produces little babies or offsets, chop them up and chop them off rather and give them friends. Aww. So eventually everybody's got one from the same plant. I love that. That's such a good idea. And then there's Stella. Oh, and she's back. Got, I know. I love Stella. So this is a calthea, nice and bright but needs bright light. It also needs very consistent moisture. So this is the Gardener 2.0 version. This is Gardener 1.0. Got it. We have different levels based on you, what you're doing in your yeah, own and home. and that's okay because we can graduate to this. Definitely. <laughs> I, I feel like it's important, like look at the wide variety here. So if you have any questions, like come on down, check with one yeah, might be best for your just home. Just ask. We'll see you soon.